Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, look at me in red. I'm Alex. And uh, look in yellow. That's the Ramble. That's the name of the program. And we're here until midnight tonight from New York, New York. That's Chuck Farnham. You're mm. looking kind of strange today. I guess it's the angle. Maybe it's the glasses. Yeah. So you still don't have your tooth, and I got mine. See? Nice. Yeah? That's a five thousand dollar tooth right there, pal. Yeah. And I got a thousand dollars in the bank right there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Can't they just get you like some kind of thing to put in there? I have a flipper in the other room, but it feels weird. I'll tell you the clippers, I I found I got had clippers when I when I got my couple of one couple of my other implants, okay? Cuz they yeah. wanted to just keep the teeth spread, you know. Yeah. And and I used it and after a while I said, "Do I really need to get an implant?" You know? I mean, this thing's yeah. working just fine. This thing felt weird in my mouth and I had trouble talking and Really? I didn't at all. I forgot it was there at the end of the day. I didn't remember. Wow, I wish I, yeah, mine, I, 10 minutes in, were you eating with the thing? Well, your, yours is right in the front. Mine was back here. Yeah. And uh, I put, just would put it in in the morning. And finally, I asked uh, one dentist, I said, or my current dentist, I said, w would you do me a favor? I said, why don't you just make me a clipper? I don't need an implant because it was all the way in the back. And I said, and she said, we don't do clippers anymore because people swallow them. So How I would you swallow that thing? Yeah, well, even if you do swallow it, what? It's going to come out. It's huge. My, my thing is, like, huge. Well, wait a second. I got something else to show you. Oh, Hold on. Oh, oh, he's going away now, folks. Yeah, yeah. This is part of, the, part of the deal. He's going away. Uh, and... Uh, Talk, uh, da, da. talk amongst yourselves. I am. I'm, ah. I'm trying to keep it going. I, I, yeah, how'd it work? That'd work well, okay. I, I, in the old days, I could have done 10 minutes without thinking. Yeah, about I could have done. Today, I, can I, get a hot I can't even. It's lucky I can even call you. You know. So. Look at this. Huh? I got these. For what? Well, I, I'm not sure. It should go like this. Yeah, yeah, okay. But. Those aren't yours. No, they're my stepdad's. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, he doesn't need them anymore. So I thought he'd keep them. Wow. He had he had both, all his teeth? Yeah, upper and lower. Really? And he said he only paid 300 bucks for these. Really? Yeah, I think he went to some little shop down by the border probably went down to one of those novelty shops and those are actually yeah. the kind that chatter on their own if yeah, you wind these, them up these look they're really really nice i mean they're a full set yeah mostly mostly clean yeah oh yeah there's some yeah wow i guess you put glue in there or something so they didn't think to bury him or well you had him cremated right well, I uh, not yet. I guess <laughs> they they took oh, the body wait, away. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's pack <laughs> up a little bit to not leave the audience out. A couple of months oh, ago, yeah. Yeah. a couple of months ago, your mother died. She died at uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, and just a couple of weeks ago, your stepfather died. D died in the living room on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. While we were talking to him. And, and in case people don't also know who his stepfather was, it was like your best friend from grade school. Yeah, I mean, I had the, I knew this guy for 50 years. Great guy. Yeah. Uh, could fix things. Like, uh, you know, was that kind of sort of person where if you needed something done, you called Gene because... 
even if he didn't know how to do it, he could fake it pretty good, you know. Yeah, fake like, it. yeah. okay. Yeah, but it yeah. but it would work. I yeah. mean, whatever he yeah. needed. Yeah. And uh, so he passed away in the living room. Mom passed away out of the house apparently with a heart attack. Two deaths okay. during yeah. the holiday. During the holidays, basically, and and yeah. and uh, one of them, somebody that was not only your stepfather. But your best friend, yeah, yeah, he's a, just a good guy. Matter of fact, I had uh, uh, a buddy from uh, from uh, Wyoming uh, chime in and goes, "I remember when that guy came into your life, and uh, he's just a great guy and really nice." And I'm like, "Exactly, yeah. that was the sort of guy he was. He was just a nice guy. He would help you if he could. He was addicted to uh, tractors, apparently." Yeah. A lot of tractors. So, let me ask you this: How how old was he uh, when he seventy seventy six sixty nine seventy seventy one right in there seventy one maybe? And how old was your mother maybe. when she died? Well, eighty five. Eighty five. So they had a fifteen year difference. Right. Oh, your mother was a real player. Yeah, that's, you know, you're not <laughs> the first person to say that this week. <laughs> I think you met her a couple times and somebody else went, man, she was really working it. And I'm like, you know, it was a small town. What are you going to do? Uh, yes. <laughs> a small you know, town. Like, what are you going to do? It doesn't take much. But now, wait a minute. Where where did you go to school with your... Uh, Powell, Powell, Wyoming. In Wyoming? Yeah, yeah. And they're in northern Wyoming. Now, where were, you, where were you raised? Wyoming? Wyoming. Oh, northern okay. Wyoming. I, I was born in Montana. And raised in Wyoming, I right over the border. I don't know many people from Wyoming. I know. So it's hard for me to, to tell you or to ask you anything about Wyoming. Outside of the fact that it, I got a ticket there, a driving speeding ticket. Yeah. And, and the cop, when he stopped me, was very nice. And he said, I got to give you a ticket. He said, because this is our, our speed trap. Yeah. Is we we give out more tickets here than anywhere in the state of Wyoming. Yeah. I well congratulations to you. Fine work. You yeah. see if you go to Montana back in the day, the the sign just said safe and prudent. Safe and prudent. Yeah. That was the speed limit. And at night it was eighty five. Well a lot of places safe and prudent. They do have those. Yeah. Uh, they don't have them but, anymore. But, so, uh, other than that, I know so little about Wyoming. See, we should go. We should go. I should. Yeah, we go. We could go to Yellowstone Park and hang out, and yeah, you know, and have a Cody picnic and, basket. Yeah, I can show you. You know, we can go to Powell, and I can show you where I dropped the jar of uh, uh, mayonnaise on the way home one day, and all the other exciting spots in town. Really, <laughs> where he dropped. A Mom job. told me to go to the store and get mayonnaise, and I went on my bike, and as I was coming home, I came around a corner and dropped the mayonnaise. And what did Mom... I take everybody to the spot. It's, it's you know, they... But has it been memorialized? Maybe they have a plaque there? It, this is we, where we Chuck should, Farnham dropped Maybe a bench. I might need a bench, I think, maybe, <laughs> right there, so I can, like, commemorate that spot. This is where It's Chuck also Farnham. really near the spot where I... They had this picnic area in the park, and uh, I went down there with the sheets off my bed and thought I could turn it into a parachute and jump off the uh, top of this canopy. Wow. Don't do that. That's wow. bad. That does not work. So uh, anyway, but, I know so little about anyhow. Wyoming that, you know, I, I, in fact, what's, let me think if I know the capital of Wyoming. No, I don't. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's it. You live there. That is your history lesson. Although I grew up right next to the Heart Mountain Relocation Camp. Well, how did your well, mo you and your mother wind up in California? After my parents, uh, let's say, separated, yeah. uh, got a divorce, my my mom's dad's uncle, uh, Kilfoy, he uh, was working in Vegas. Mm hmm. Uh, these apartment complexes that had, by the way, they had um, a nudist swimming pool. A nudist swimming pool? Very place. nice. Yeah, yeah. They had the concrete around the outside of it. So we went down there 
for a few months and worked. And the company that he worked for hired us in California, and I moved to Sunnyvale. Oh, okay. And then I spent. I always thought you plus. were like a Californian, you know. I yeah, everybody goes, "Where are you from again?" Huh? From, everybody goes, "Where are you from?" And I went, "Northern Wyoming." And they're like, "Seriously?" Right next to Yellowstone Park. What town in Wyoming? Uh, it was called Powell. Powell still is. Um, right next to Cody, where Buffalo Bill, you know, the whole Buffalo Bill thing. Mm -hmm. Was it named after him, or did he? Name yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and uh, Jackson Pollock is from Cody. Jackson Pollock? He was born in Cody, Wyoming. Wow. Jeez. That tells you what kind of painting people do there. It, yeah, I mean, amazing. Just amazing. They have amazing museums there. And Jeremiah Johnson is buried there. And Wasn't he, he a bullfrog? He was, Wasn't he a good friend of mine? Yeah, yeah, sort of. That was different Jeremiah. <laughs> the movie Jeremiah Johnson... <laughs> And and uh, when they had the funeral, uh, Robert Redford was a pallbearer. Really? Yeah. He that's where Jeremiah Johnson roamed was in those mountains over Cody. Wow. Yeah. Huh. I'm just a font of useless knowledge about Wyoming. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have a little more appreciation for Wyoming now. Yeah, yeah. No, there's stuff to do there. You wouldn't think so, but there is stuff to do there. Can you get laid? Probably. <laughs> How old were you when you left there? Ooh, about... Well, I think my driver's license said 18, but the reality was I was 17. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, the drinking age was 18, 19. Well, what I was going to ask you is, did you leave a virgin? No. Oh, okay. I Nobody just... leave... I Nobody, just, I don't think, leaves a virgin from that part of the country. Why is that? Because there's nothing to do there in the winter. But, you Keep know. Keep each other warm. Warm, exactly. Not, not, I mean, there. So, so how old were you when you lost your virginity? Well, you have all kinds of questions today, don't you, buddy? Well, yeah, well, well, that's what I do. I'm, I'm a question asker. <laughs> You're the answer, man. I'm a qu I question answer, I, question asker. What? Ooh, um, you can't you, remember how old you were. Well, no, I'm, I'm trying to narrow it down. Um, what do you mean narrow it down? You either did it or you didn't do no, it. No, I did it, but I have to remember what year I did it. Um... 13, 14. 13 or 14. Oh, okay. 13 yeah. or 14. I, I, all I know is that when Probably I did it. Probably the winter of the 13th year or the winter of the Well, when I year. did it, it was kind of, I kind of memorialized it in my mind. And I think, I, I believe I was 19. I know exactly wow. where I did it. I know where I did it. Where? We uh, broke into my grandmother's house. And you didn't she was in the hospital at the time, and we used to go over there and watch TV at night Yeah, and hang out with my friends, and it happened there. Oh, okay. Was it, did you both get drunk or something, or was it? Was Not it... really. We'd go over there and watch Midnight Special on the TV, all of mm -hmm. my buddies, and and she was one of my friends. And um, Do you remember her is. first name? Uh, yeah, I do. No, I'm not going to say it. Oh, it's, okay. She's dumb. Oh, she, she's still a friend of mine. Well, oh, she's still a friend of yours. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm not sure she remembers that, you know. Were you her first? I don't know. Okay. She was older. Really? I do remember that. Oh, okay. Not my age. Older woman at, at Grandma's house. Because I, it was my girlfriend, and my parents were at work. Well, actually, I did it in the back seat of a my... I told this to Lori yesterday. It's oddly enough. That's probably why I'm bringing it up again. Yeah, you keep living through this? Yeah. Uh, I had a, a 1939 Pontiac Torpedo. Nice. Yeah, which was painted salmon color. Somebody wow. painted it salmon color. It was very cheap. I like the color. And I bought yeah, it from I'm a friend who, who had the car, and he was always getting laid, or so he said. And I figured if I had his car, it would 
act as a that, catalyst for me no longer being a virgin. That would do it? So I bought the car, and sure enough, I had this girlfriend, and we went out and we parked it out uh, near the, right. where the San, Marin County Civic Center is now. That was just yeah. wo- that was just woods back then. Famous, famous for what? There you go. F- well, that's, Frampton that's, comes to that's, comes that was one of the last there. things that was ever done by Frank Lloyd Wright. And and Frampton Comes Alive was recorded at there and at Winterland. And also it was a Gattaca in the movie Gattaca. Oh wow! Yeah. See, see how I. See, yeah, we really do have too much information. Yeah. Everybody's anyway, going, what anyway, the so hell is I, wrong I, tr- with I tried to have I tried to have sex with her in the back seat, and I don't think I really accomplished it. I think I really? hit a crease or something like that. I don't know. You know, when you, it's the first time you you you're working on what you've heard, not what you know. Yeah, I remember it being very messy, like yeah, yeah. like it's, Larry it's Brown was this some, day. I, I would say very to, messy. I would say to people. That was the, at the same time. It was the worst sex I ever had, and at the time, the best sex I ever had. Right, and you, and you well, and it's the one you remember the, the one after that, and the one after that, and the one after that. You can't remember, right? Yeah, yeah. So any, well, I remember. I, I wish I could say you I remember, remember all of all, them? Of, all of them, but I'm sorry, I I really don't. Yeah, ah. I remember the exceptional ones. Okay, really? those are the ones you remember. But anyway, so she came by. I remember the really weird ones. She came by my place uh, uh, the following Monday while my parents were working, and we consummated Mm it. You know, nice. And and then she wound up getting pregnant. Nice. And somewhere out there, there's a little. Alex Bennett running around. Little Alex, little bald well, headed. Well, probably, Jewish guy probably he's around. somewhere around sixty years old now. But you know, or it could be me. No, but fifty-five, something like that. Wow. No, I figured he was Howard Stern. Is what I figured, but you know, you might just, be right. Just a thought. No. Yeah. Any. So, mm-hmm. God. Yeah, I only remember the weird ones. I don't, and I try to not dwell on those. Yeah. It, and now you get to the point where it's like you just don't care anymore. Well, I just don't do it anymore. Right, right. You like got something well, better to I mean, do. They, like they, they, they took my prostate and smashed it flat like it was abalone. You know. Yeah, with mine they just took like eight hundred needles and jammed them in there. Eight hundred needles. Like a shotgun. Yeah, they took all like a shotgun and blasted needles in the oh, mine. No, what did you do? You got a biopsy. Is that what you? Yeah. Do? Oh, they, they yeah, 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 yeah. It sounds like a staple gun. Yeah, and yeah. and it kind of feels like one if you pound it into your finger. Well, no, it, it doesn't. No, it. Uh, I didn't. You feel, didn't feel uh, it. I didn't feel a thing. How high were you? No, I wasn't high, but imagine that he, you know, did. Something. I was given a lot of drugs, and I could still feel it going on. And the guy's like, "Well, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, you're jamming needles into my wiener. Uh, not great." Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I, it was like a staple gun. And, just, bum, 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 yeah. bum, and I, I went, boy, that was easy. And he said, I try to make it that way. And yeah. then, and they, found out I had, then they found out I had a little bit, a tad, a, a, a tad of the cancer, you know. Okay, so then they radiated you? They radiated me, and then they put seeds in my prostate. And nice. now it's just... How can I put some? My doctor, last time he checked me last year, he stuck his finger where the sun don't shine, and right. he felt the prostate, and he said, "Oh, it's flat." And That's it's what like, it's supposed what to be. happened? Did they just let the air smooth. out of it or something? It's yeah. smooth. Yeah. He goes, "Oh, that's the one, last one I had was a female, and she was like, oh, that's really smooth.'" And I go, "Well, I shaved it yesterday, yeah, right. so so it's ready for you." Yeah. You now, what do you have? Like plants with the seeds? You have plants growing out of your ass now. Or well, I, I <laughs> asked him, "Why don't you cut growing? You're you watering though." When you're checking my prostate, do you cut yourself on the on the seeds? And he said, well, "We're not." Yeah. Re- he says, "We're not really." They, they here's a little fact you don't know. And they stick their finger where the sun don't shine. Okay? Right. They don't exactly feel the prostate because there's skin between 
right. finger in the prostate, but they do, can feel it for lumps and things like that. They're but looking they're not for really they're feeling looking for the ripple. The, I think they're looking for ripples. Something in it, some kind of ridging. But anyway, he did a biopsy, and I turned out I had cancer. So we went and took care of it. You know? Worst case scenario, you die. Worst case scenario, you don't die. Yeah, well, right? what's his name? King King, King uh, Charles is in the right. hospital. King uh, at Charles. least as we're doing this with uh, with prostate uh, problems. Right. His, his gonna... problem probably is he has to get up twenty times a night to pee. Yeah, who doesn't? And, and that isn't exactly a royal gesture. Yeah. No. Well, he's got that thing where the water has to be a certain temperature, and he. Oh, and well, that's him. Iron. That's just him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a weirdo. Well, those people, let's face it, you get to be king or you get to be a prince. Um, you, um, how can I put it? Um, you just... It, 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 you're confused about the job. You're you so f spoiled from the day you're born. Right. You know, that, that you don't know any other life. I mean, if you ask... I would imagine if you ask King Charles to just go out and live a week as a normal person, he couldn't do it. Right. He couldn't function. Mm -hmm. Probably somebody who holds his penis when he pees, you know? Well, there are a lot of people like that, though. You go, they'll go, hey, I can't do this or I can't do that. And two seconds later, you give them the answer. And they go, well, how, how do you know that? And I go, because I can type. I type in my question, I get the answer. Well, yeah, but I'm like, well, you're the one who, why'd you call me? You couldn't figure this out. People are just, Amazing. they don't want to go to the two seconds to find an answer to something. Right, right. So, you know. Drives me nuts. It would drive me nuts too. I used to sit in Walmart. Yeah. In the mornings, they had this McDonald's in there. And everybody would come up to me and ask me questions like I was, some weird stuffed animal sitting in the corner, and they everybody would go. As they'd ask a question in the place, and they go, "I'll go over and talk to him." I'm changing people's watch batteries, telling them what they should invest in. It didn't matter. They every day, they'd line up and ask, "Go to the question." And you look like you look now. Yeah, and I'm like, they go, "Oh, you should go talk to Chuck." Because right I mean, I've known you. I've known stuff. I've known you for years, and this is the weirdest you've ever looked. I know. I the hair is out of control. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of hair. Yeah, beard could use and, a little. I, beard could use a little trim. Yeah, that well, that was what I was going to do, and then I was, I was told that maybe I, everything needed a little trim. And why don't you just? Don't you have a barber up there and? In the, yeah, but I think they only do military cuts, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he lives in he lives in Nevada in uh, uh, Fallon. Fallon. I keep forgetting it, and I should remember it because Jimmy Fallon, right? Yeah, Fallon or the hometown Fallon, Nevada. of uh, the hometown of John Wayne Bobbitt. Really? Yep. I John told Wayne you about my I to, told you about my greatest night ever, haven't I? Down the road a bit. No? Well, I, w I was going to a birthday party for Dennis Hoff at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. It's about 30 minutes from here. And I'm standing there, and uh, the because it's a birthday party, he hires a guy to take pictures and things like that, photos of it. Sure. And the guy's doing the photo says, uh, can I take a shot of the three of you? And I went, I went, sure. And the other two people went, yes. And he clicked the photo, and then I looked to who was on either side of me. And one of them was Joey Buttafuoco. Nice. And the other one was John Wayne Bobbitt. And I wish I had a copy of that picture, because that's the lowest point of my life. Really? See, I would consider that to be a high point. I had uh, Bobbitt sign a steak knife for me. <laughs> it, was, it was me and him. <laughs> And our boy Ron Jeremy. John Ron Jeremy was friends with. And him. I got I got Ron and I are, are bullshitting as we we uh, uh, doing our shit. And I go Ron, I really need I need Bobbit. And he goes for what? And I go steak knives. I got steak knives. And he goes, oh okay, no no problem. So we can take Bobbit over in the corner, and Bobbit signs some love hurts. John Wayne Bobbit with a little tear next to him. 
Oh, and they're here at the house. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't, ask, you didn't ask him anything about the removed penis uh, at all. No, no. Hey, listen, no. looks like we're running out of time here. Um, uh, we'll, no, we'll probably, how could that be? Well, I, that went by fast. I mean, you know, because when we start talking about up. penises, that happens, I guess. Penis, uh, yeah. yeah. If, I'm drinking sarsaparilla. Oh, well, that's, that's really root beer, isn't it? Uh, yeah, root beer from the... Uh, one east maybe yeah yeah it's got bigfoot on it yeah i right, i'll talk to you next time how's that mm -hmm. yeah let's do that maybe i'll get more teeth in <laughs> ladies and gentlemen that's chuck farnham bye kids now in its ninth year this is gabnet the great american broadcast network talk like you've never heard it before forgot to turn up my volume on the uh, music there I've got to even out the volume on myself in my interviews. That's the other thing I've got to do, but I don't know. Hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, there's only one person waiting right now to get on the show. He's quality, but uh, nonetheless, it would be nice if I heard from some of you tonight. Okay? It would be very nice if I heard from you. Oh, man, I'm tired tonight. What is it? Coffee. That's what i got to drink. You know what it is? I think my bedtime should be like, oh, I don't know, 6 o'clock at night these days. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't seem to be the, eh, I don't know. I don't, I don't seem to have the same uh, uh, thing. I'm trying to fix some stuff here. I, I don't seem to have the same kind of, uh, oh, there we go, see? Uh, I don't have the same kind of uh, stamina I used to have, and I think I could stand to go to bed at about, Oh, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night, and that's I start the show at 10.30, so whatever. Mmm, uh. good coffee. You know, I, but there is a kind of coffee I really like, and they, they don't have it anymore at, uh, at either Costco or uh, at, uh, at, at Amazon, and I don't know what happened. And it's a company that's around it. The creamer I put in here is uh, Super Coffee, uh, creamer and it's super coffee and I, I i they don't have it anymore at uh, at amazon and i can't figure that one out makes no sense to me whatsoever uh but uh anyway well let me see i guess it's just going to be me and uh and uh and charlie i would imagine let me just uh let me just bring oh, wait a minute he just hung oh he just left me no i don't think so no there he is Okay, there we go. All right. And uh, uh, is he going to connect? There he is. Well, it's just you and me, Charlie. It's just you and me, Charlie. Looks like it. Wow. Yeah. See, this is what's yeah. happening with Thursday nights. I'm thinking of cutting the Thursday nights out here. <laughs> you know? Well, it's not Thursday night football anymore because you know, yeah, I know. Playoffs. And and on uh, Friday we do fine. You know, we get a ton of people. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, maybe I should just go down to Friday nights and leave it at that. Friday night lights with Alex Bennett. Yeah, you know? Friday night whatever. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, uh, I I imagine a few more people will jump in here, but. I think it's just taking me for granted. You're always there. I'll tell you, I always see you there at the beginning of the show. I mean, the very beginning of the show, not like I now. Because I don't want to come on while you're interviewing Chuck or whatever. I, I, yeah. I come on before that. Yeah, but you're very good about that. You know, I can always, if you're available, I can always plan to see you at like early on. You just wait there, right? Until it's time. Yeah. yeah you know, and you sit there and probably enjoy the interviews too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. But most people, they go, oh, he's not going to be talking to anybody till five after or something like that, so I'll wait to call him later. And I probably shouldn't let those people on the show. <laughs> no, know? no, we got to let Jeff and Brian and Alan and all them on. Yeah, yeah, well, but they're, they're not there. Well, as long as we've got you here, resistance is fut not futile, it's what? It's voltage divided by current. Oh, okay. All right. So, it's resistance, yeah. Yeah. 
And, 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 you know, for the dumb people out in the audience and for the dumb people you walk around and who see you every day, right under all of that, it says what that means. Yes. Yes. It's uh, voltage divided by current is resistance. Yep. Okay. Um, but it's not futile. Nope. It exists in science, you know. <laughs> You know, of all the people that call this program, you know, Charlie has the greatest credentials of just about anybody here. I mean, you're the closest thing we can think of as a rocket scientist. Yeah, I could have been. You, I could have been. You could have been a rocket scientist. Uh, yeah. The CIA wanted you to work for them, right? Yep, because of my knowledge of Russia. They want me to follow Russia's pro progress with science. Why did you decide not to do that? Because this was in 1976, mm -hmm. yeah, I think 1976, and, and that was during, you know, mm -hmm. Russia was our enemy, and, and well, CIA had been doing so many things, like overthrowing Allende, and... and, and you didn't really want to be part of that. No. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't face my friends if, and tell them that I was working for the CIA. The CIA is one of those organizations that does horrible things, and then when it's asked did they do it, they went, no, we didn't do it. We didn't do that. Oh. Somebody else did that, <laughs> not us. You know. Yep. P people don't rem remember the Allende situation. Yeah. You know, Allende was, for all intents and purposes, a very much a person who believed in democracy. Yeah, he was the democratically elected leader. But he so, believed in democracy, unlike the yeah. democratically elected President Trump, who doesn't yeah. believe in democracy. Okay, no. But he, he fervently believed in democracy. But he also believed in communism. Yep. And what he had set up in uh, Chile, was it? I think it was Chile, yeah. yeah Chile was the first uh, democratic communist country. And I think the United States couldn't stand the idea that anybody would be able to say, hey, you know, you can have a democracy and you can have a communist country. You know, because as I've always said, you can't equate communism with democracy because they're two different things. Right. One's an economic form, communism, mm -hmm. and one's a, the relationship of the uh, people to its, their government, which is democracy. Yep. All right. And uh, years ago, when I was going to San Francisco City College, one of the finer in educational institutions in the country, yeah, uh, we, um, I, I was taking a course, I know what course it was, but the, uh, uh, the teacher said, I want you to read chapter 15 or whatever in our textbook and come back tomorrow and we're gonna be discussing it, okay. So the name of the chapter was Democracy versus capitalism. And I went back the following day and she said, anybody have a comment about what you, I asked you to read last night? And I said, yeah, I do. She said, what? I said, the whole um, chapter is, uh, uh, is just not right. She said, why? And I explained what I just did to you. I said, yeah. you can't equate communism with democracy. It, it could be democracy. It could be democracy versus totalitarianism, or it mm -hmm. could be communism versus capitalism, but it can't be, yep. they're like two entirely different things. So that jerk uh, lady said, <laughs> no, you're wrong, sit down. And it was at that precise moment that I realized that a college education wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Yep. You know, so. Um, um, I'm, I'm glad you, you had principles where Allende was concerned because I was, you know, yeah, very much a fan of his. Um, well, there's still nobody he, calling. Yeah, I was going to say, he, he, was, he believed in resources of the country belong to the people, not to business. Yeah. And, and that's, that's why the U.S. couldn't stand it. And that's as it should be. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I'm... I'm no communist, although because only because I think communism was a little severe. Okay, yeah. uh, I'm I, I'd be more for extreme socialism, you know. Yep. Um, but I just think about listen, uh, all you people out there, you go to work every day, you work for a company, they pay you crap wages, and the company makes a fortune. 
Yep. Is that right? You know? Now, in a socialistic country, a lot of your needs would be taken and uh, taken, uh, taken care of, and it would be taken care of by having those people who are profiting from the society chip in towards your well-being. Yep. Uh, what's wrong with that? Tell me what is wrong with that. Not a thing. You know, so I, uh, I just, uh, I, I've always been, I've always hated big business and so on. And, uh, you know, luckily I worked in a business where uh, if I made money for a company, a lot of money for a company, I, I could get some of that back. But still, I don't think I ever got paid what I deserved in certain situations. I mean, I, one radio station I worked at, somebody just told me the other day they heard that I made them something like $20 million a year. And I was getting 400000 300000 they were paying me. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's exactly fair if I just made you $20 million. Oh, but they gave you a job, Alex. Well, <laughs> yep. you know screw that you know i mean i have to admit that howard stern is right he just held out for the most money he could get and he got a chunk of it you know? yep that's what you got to do sometimes but let's face it howard stern only makes about a hundred million dollars a year i say only but he only makes a hundred million dollars a year sirius on the other hand has a yearly income of something like four billion dollars a year yep. So isn't he getting ripped off because he was main driver of, of people to that? Uh, yeah, to he that. brought a bunch of people to the yeah, series. Maybe that. not so much today as then, because a lot of people go Howard who, you know. <laughs> but I mean that that's that's the way it is. Boy, this is really something, isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever had gone this long being the only person here. Yeah, yeah, uh, wow. yeah. Come on, folks. Well, anyway. Anything happening in the news that you uh, are ticked off about? Uh, what what has? I don't think uh, much of anything. I really haven't been following the news because I'm very busy in in January at the beginning of the year. Yeah, because I gotta get all that tax stuff done for that umpires. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't, I can't follow the news like I do the rest of the year. Yeah. Well, it, don't worry about it. You aren't missing much. You know. As long as I'm 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 freed up for the trial, the Trump trials in March. You're you're setting yourself. You got a little. You you got you got enough popcorn. Yep. Yeah. Popcorn and soda and yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think any of those are going to take place though? I think so. I think he can't he can't uh, hold up all of them. Some yeah. of these trials are gonna gonna take place before the convention, and he'll be, he'll be convicted by at least yeah you know at least once or twice before then. Well, E. Jean Carroll has got her case going now, and it looks like he's gonna have to. What's so great about that trial? It shows how stupid yep. Donald Trump is, because okay, he only what they what did they say he owed her something like. It was five million the first time, five but million. then he defamed her again. He so now it's ten million. He couldn't keep his mouth shut, yeah. so he defamed and then he her defamed again. Her again, so she may be seeing him suing him again for more. And because the other trial was a defamation trial, yeah, I think it was a defamation trial as yeah. well. It wasn't about the rape, because the statutes of limitations. Statutes of limitations was yeah. gone. Yeah, but he made she he had to pay out five million for his big fat mouth. And as soon as that trial was over, he badmouthed her again. And now yep. they're thinking of handing him twenty million, or handing yep. her twenty million. Apparently, five million wasn't enough. Apparently, so, though, has he paid off the five million though? I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it too. Yeah, yeah. I would doubt it. You know, just because you win in court doesn't mean you're ever going to see your money. That's the problem. That's for sure. You know. And, uh, I, you know, <laughs> Donald Trump has it now because he can take it out of his election fund. Yeah, he's got all that money that the, the average folks out there have been mailing into him. But you know who has more money? Biden. Yeah. Biden's got about, what, $200 million or something like that in his war chest? Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see here. I just, 
Oh, I, oh, there we go. I let Tony in. There he is. There he is. He's down in the, he's down in the basement. Down in the comic den, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's listening to what you said, Alex, earlier. Yeah. You know, it reminds me, uh, you were speaking about uh, capitalism and uh, the college course you took. Yeah. You know what I find funny? And I was young at the time when I was working in the supermarket. I was working like 30 hours a week. It was like not full time. And you know what I found funny? And my boss hated what I said. Because this is the reason why you don't want me to put me full time, because then you'd have to give me benefits. So he goes, oh, you're a wise to this. No. Because you know what bothers me when these people who say like, see, I think you shouldn't have to work for health insurance, I told the guy. Because I think you should be given that. Because theoretically, people who make money are always going to make money. That has nothing to do with like uh worrying about if he gets sick or not I'll, he didn't I'll, like that i said I'll that thing. i'll never forget that something's really bothered me today i was reading a lot of little different news items that were coming across here and i subscribe to a lot of broadcast business things and so on uh google is letting off a shitload of people yeah i saw that yeah. and so is facebook and so is uh google Google's letting off people from their their YouTube division. Uh, and I'm going, oh, wait a minute. Why are you doing this? You know, because even if maybe you didn't make as much money this year as you made last year, you're still making a potload of money, yeah. right? But no, they want to make sure that their profits are a, at a higher level. And by by getting rid of people, they, they, they raise that, that, that level. I just find that horrible. That's one of the most terrible things about uh, about uh, capitalism. Yep. We don't we don't fire the people that cause the problem. We fire the people that are down at the bottom who are just trying to earn a living. Why right. not if, say, oh, we're going to fire some people? Let's fire the president of this company. Let's fire the vice presidents. Let's fire the fire the fire the people that are in charge of the thing. And could could have turned it around, but didn't. No, we're going to get rid of Joe Blow, who you know works down in accounting. Yeah, that's a, it. Sucks. Yeah. So. Yeah. Any comments, anybody? I guess not. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, you know, oh, sorry. Yeah, well, go ahead, Tony. Now you know, you know, it just bothers me because I think when they used to say, like, when people would say, like, oh, but if you uh. Like there was, I don't understand how people can be so against. Like we shouldn't really have the universal health care or anything like for every state. It's like you shouldn't have to worry about. I used to hate when the guy used to say, "Oh, like, uh, oh, we'll hire you and you get benefits." Like big fucking deal. I shouldn't have to work, jump through hoops to get health coverage. Health. Like if I do know, a good used, job, it like used to be. Look, bef uh, uh, to begin with, we have to. Talk, if you want to talk about health coverage. The reason it costs so damn much today is because you had a president by the name of Ronald Reagan who uh, 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 suddenly changed what uh, health uh, insurance was about. In those days, before Reagan, health insurance was nonprofit. Mm. It had yep. to be nonprofit. Not okay? for profit. Not for profit. Okay, it's a better way of putting it. After Reagan, they could charge anything they wanted to. Yep. And yep. that just raised those rates really high. When I first went into this business, not this business, but the business that counted in those days, I automatically got health insurance. You know, I didn't have to pay for it. You know, I'd have to pay for part of it or anything. My bosses just gave it to, it gave it to you because that was something they used as a hook to bring people in to work for them, you know? Yep. So you had uh, you had health insurance, and it was 100%. I didn't pay a penny when I got sick. I mean, wow, I, I never had to use it much because I was young at the time. You need it more when you're older. That's the other conundrum. You need it more when you're older, so they should Medicare should be yeah. taking care of 100%. Why is it taking care of 80%? Because nobody wanted to say, we got to have a socialist program here? You what know. Is it? And even at that, uh, are you old enough to get Medicare yet, uh, uh, Tony? I know Alan. No. Alan, no, are you? I, 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 are you? I, I'm only 50. 
Mm-hmm. I'll be 55 this year. Yeah. I, I started yeah. I started in December last yeah. month. You would think that Medicare, a program by the government to make sure that all Americans have health insurance over the age of 65, which is when you really need it, yeah. would be taken care of. Yeah. But they only take care of 80%. And on top of that, it's not free. It's the taken out thing. of your Social Security yeah. every month. The drug thing. You're right. They make it sound like they were giving you something. I've been working since I was 18. They don't form, give you I mean. crap. Okay. The drug, the drug they make it, thing exactly. It's almost like, oh, yeah. I'm the, sorry, yeah. Tony. Uh, uh, Alan? Oh, sorry. So the, the drug thing, you know, where you pay your co-payment for drugs until you reach the, the, the donut hole or the gap, and then they, they rape you really bad. You know, so I, I have a, I have an eye drop. I don't have it. I have these little eye drops that are only available name brand. Yeah. And oh, eleven hundred dollars oh. for a three month supply. Yep. And because they have really severe wow. eyes. So once I get the five thousand dollars, eleven hundred, eleven hundred, eleven hundred. 1100 Once I get to the five thousand dollars, you get stuck in that donut. The donut hole, hole is at thirty five hundred. No, it's at at fifty one hundred. Fifty one hundred this year. This yeah. year, but but. The, the screwy thing is I'm going to get there and then my $50 copay for for that mm. for that uh, for that 3 months turns into $300. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, it's it's really it's terrible. It's just terrible yeah. and it shouldn't be. You no. know, these insurance companies shouldn't be allowed to charge what they charge. I mean, tell you're going to tell me these insurance companies don't make money. Of course they do. You That's know. Money. Oh, they're making money. Yeah. yeah. You know that all in there what, 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 okay. let, let Tony, uh, excuse me, let uh, Charlie sure. say what he had to say. I would say they're, they're paying their executives, you know, fifty million dollars a year and stuff, so they definitely are making money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you know, we're we're, we're talking about a lot of money. That where they where do you get your fifty-five, Tony? Where do you get your health insurance from? Do you have health insurance? Well, I, I get it individually, so I pay um, monthly, like quarterly. And boy, how much uh, do you pay? Do you know how much you pay? I pay with, I don't have it firm. Well, you know, somebody puts their hand I in my pocket. I pay a minimum of three fifty four. But he, here's a question of what pissed me off, too, though. When my mother was on, what was it, Medic, when she was above 65, when I was taking care of her. I don't know if I told you this. I told Shecky this because it would annoy me one time. Well, I went to take her to the dentist because she needed a regular cleaning, right, Alex? So yeah. she goes, right? And then the insurance, who should we go, the dentist we've been going there for t- over 20 years, right? He says, oh, uh, I'll take your mother this time, but... I'm not. He didn't take the uh, the insurance when she was over six. Or Medicare, I guess, what she had, whatever it was. And I said, "What do you mean? My mother's becoming because she wasn't working for ANS anymore." So he was just going to dis. No, I, I couldn't file. I found another dentist. But I was like, "Look at this piece of shit!" I said, "He took her money for twenty years, and now you're kicking into the curb." Yep. Well, it's yeah. like, you know, I I, I feel do, so pissed at the guy. Believe it or not, I do feel somewhat sorry for the doctor. You think uh, so? Yeah, they're because they're, they're finding they can't afford to be doctors anymore. If you can imagine yeah. that, you know, they usually well, wind up going to work. They go wind up. Hold on a second. They wind up going to work for an HMO. Yeah. Or they wind yeah. up just. So many of them wind up giving up the business, but most of them go over to an HMO. They don't want to have to run an office. Running an office now costs yeah. a fortune. You have five people there, and they're just doing the billing and dealing with Medicare and the. And worst of all, I was told this by a doctor, Medicare is not the problem. We bill them. They send us what they say they're going to send us. It's the insurance companies that don't pay for six months or a year. Right, right. You know, and, and they really? say, yeah. And doctors, if you go to any office, they've got, they've got at least five people there doing all the billing stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, so how can you afford that? Let's say if you're just a single practitioner with an office, you can't. So, you, so I want hmm? to go back to Tony for a minute because he was a little garbled. You, you know, what, funny you said that. Because I would have taken Alex, my mom, before she passed away, Dr. Rubin, you know, was just, he was right over here for the last 30 plus years. He worked for the hospital you go to in the city, Alex, the same hospital you go to. Is that Mount Sinai? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and he works there too, but he has an office in Queens. And Mount Sinai used to fund his office. And then when my mother passed away, he says, Tony, we got to close the office up. I found out he was there forever. And he says, so now Mount Sinai took, made him close that office, moved him to Queens Boulevard, and they have like their big building with like five other doctors in yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They wouldn't cover his practice no more, like you were saying. So uh, he had to leave. Uh, uh, and Al, he was broken up about yeah, that. Alan has something he wants to say. Yeah, I, I wanted to know, you, you, you were garbled, Tony, when we were asking you what you pay monthly for health insurance. Oh, I pay close to, I would say, I have to look at my bill, I'd say almost 500. What, every three Maybe months? Maybe a little under that. Every three months? Every three no. months, like fifteen almost. Every three so months. Months. Okay. Yeah. You see, here's the here's the deal. I get uh, six and eighty percent of my Medicare taken care of. I don't have their uh, uh, the what do you call it, plan the uh, advantage the advantage because it's a ripoff. Okay, sure. but I got to pay three hundred and twenty dollars a month for my health insurance, which thank God, even for $320 a month, uh, takes care of everything. So I haven't had- Is that paid. the 20% Alex? What? If they take care Is of- Is that the, the 20% my brother was doing? Because no, my 20, brother used to take care of that for my mother, I remember. Yeah, that. 20%, but I have an Stuff insurance plan that covers that 20%, 100%, Oh. okay? okay? Oh, that's so, good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, it's not good. You I got to pay three twenty for it. On top yeah. of that, I'm paying like one fifty, uh, a little more a month from from my Social Security to pay for Medicare. So when you come out to it, I'm paying almost five hundred dollars a month for health care. Yeah. So, so you're really not why, getting it for free. You should. That's why it, I you're, would. You're breaking, Tony, Tony, is there any way you can move your computer or somewhere? You're breaking uh, up. Just move it or something. It yeah, I'm gonna move my computer to my files over there. Fios is flaky here. Hold on, I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, no, no, take, it so outside, take it outside. Take it outside. It's probably not the Fios. It's probably the Wi-Fi is the problem. Yeah, it'll work better outside. Well, now you're completely. <laughs> now you're complete. Wait a minute. Uh, is it, is it, isn't the internet wonderful? Wait a minute, how come this never happens to Bill? And they were you know, flaking out over here. Fire. When, when I used to have a telephone. I, I never like, had I that happen. Yeah. Is it any bad? No, it's terrible. Oh, it's much it's terrible. You're frozen. <laughs> Go back to where you any were. Okay, your comics all over the place here. Mm -hmm. I have books here. This is music. Go, go back to where you How were. How come this never happens to Phil when he's on? He doesn't get frozen. Am I freezing? I'm cold in here, too. I'm in the basement. You just well, you, you, you got a, you got a choice. I'll show you my stereos. Hey, 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 Tony, go back to where you were. Are you there now? Oh, now we completely lost him. Oh, fuck yes. Yeah, so we can get a word in edgewise. Oh, there's Tony. There we go. Okay. And it's... I got books and movies and CDs all over the place. I got a big delivery this morning, so I got stuff all over. Yeah. Well, it's okay. Uh, but anyway, no, what I, all I'm saying is, what is this? You know, especially if you think about it, who needs medical insurance the most? People like me. I'm 84 years yeah. old. I need insurance. Uh, me too. I, I'm, we think I had cancer. Yeah, well, you had cancer, but you know that's 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 uh, that's very rare at your age. Okay, that, that, that's right. Also, also, I know. he doesn't have a lot of assets. I'm assuming, Tony. I don't know your your financial background. Well, but, I, I have most. Well, I do have. Uh, I owned a third of the half of the house that I was left, okay, and I got well, a lot of stock though. So, if, if you didn't have insurance and you went and had an emergency, they would go after your assets. assets yeah. so you've got to have insurance. Yeah, they, I'd have to pay, if I didn't have insurance, I would have to sell some stock to pay for my... Or a hell of a lot of comic books. Right. Yeah, which comes from, the stock would have came from, so I would have, yeah. all right, I got to, it's either live, what is Jack, it's either money or your life. Hold on a second, let me I'm think. thinking it over. <laughs> I was watching it all the way through. How do you say it again, Alex? Your money or your life. I'm Hold thinking on. it <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. I want to live. Okay, it's low grade. So yeah, now now you're froze again. So I can low grade. I, okay. I got a good guess. Okay, hold it down, right. Tony. I know you've had coffee tonight. We're in trouble again. Yeah, got you. I know. Oh, I did. Oh. I did have a little bit. Yeah. Watch but I, you know, I just think that 
I don't think my country cares about me. I don't think it cares about you. I don't think it cares about Charlie, and I don't think really it cares about uh, um, uh, 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 no. Alan, uh, which is okay. Uh, but uh, no, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's they, they don't care about us. And, and come on, you know, people like us, the, the average person who, who has to rely on something like Medicare, uh, are the very people who did their work in building this country. I mean, yeah. how many years did I work providing tax money? Lots of tax yeah, money. Yeah, you must have paid a lot of taxes. Yeah. yeah. You know, I... Uh, and 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 yet we we are we're just ripped off when we get old. And you know, right yeah. now, they, there are people in Congress who are trying to kill Medicare. Yep. yep. They'll never get away. Now with why? That. They're called Republicans. Yeah, but why? Yeah. What did they? Uh, they say, well, you know, That's exactly. if we kill, if, uh, oh, and, and Social Security, if we kill Social Security and Medicare, we'd be able to pay off all our uh, mm -hmm. all all of America's debts. Who cares? Yeah, well, who cares? Who gives a rat's ass? To begin with, there's no such thing as a national debt. If they don't have the money, they just print more, okay? Exactly. I was say they to it's the, school. Just print it's the biggest lie that's ever been perpetrated. Exactly. But why yeah. are you going to take away from, like, for instance, Social Security, we paid for it out of our salaries. Yep. You know? How dare they even think about years. taking it He's stealing it away. from yourself. <laughs> And if they think that that's that, that doing the Republicans that, call it an entitlement, but it's not an entitlement. We paid into it. No, it, 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 yeah, it, it's it, not like you're stealing from. Well, yourself. it is an entitlement. It's a, a uh, it's our entitlement given to the government. You know, the government. Yeah, is, but we paid for that. The, for our money, the it's government like is entitled to pay us uh, social security. Right, but it's not like welfare. That's a true entitlement, where you don't have to pay anything. If you had to go on welfare, you just get welfare. Yeah, but you lose all your dignity by doing it. It's never. It's not like they don't say, "Hey, you know, we're sorry that you don't have a job, or that you're incapable of working, or that there's one reason or another why you can't work, or you don't feel you can work, or maybe you have some mental problem that makes you incapable of working." Uh, uh, please let us help you with that, you know, and get people, let people be able to take welfare with some measure of dignity. Yeah. But we don't. We make them feel like they're lepers, like they're uh, mooches. They're all kinds of things. And that's horrible. That's just terrible. Yeah. Gee, I'm sorry with what I've been saying. I haven't gotten some people mad enough to call for crying out loud. <laughs> really? Yeah. Say something like kick all the, uh, the, the Latinos that are coming for out of New York and send them to Connecticut. That'll get people to call. Yes, right. <laughs> you know, I mean... Uh, and this whole thing's going on at the border. You know, have some sympathy. The major amount of people who are coming across the Rio Grande are not drug mules because, quite frankly, you get all your drugs really wet if you tried to take them across the Rio Grande. Let's be honest. You'd have to go out and dry out the powder for 10 months before it got ready. I mean, yeah, I don't think they... Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. talked about yeah. this on Amy's show last night that <clears throat> the... Um, the, the federal cops, what do they call them there? The Border Patrol. Border Patrol. We're trying to save two kids that were drowning in the Rio Grande. Right, oh, right. And, they, and, and the Texas National Guard stopped them. I don't know. Your federal cops shoot the National Guard and save the kids. It, it, you know? it, it, that was one of the most pitiful stories I've heard. In Yesterday. Months, you know. Or, or. Yeah. And they, they, they died. They died, yeah. yeah. They drowned. Two kids drowned. Because the governor of Texas told the National Guard, don't intervene. And the Border Patrol saves a lot of people from drowning. And they wanted to go in the water and save them. And, the, and they, 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 you know, they said no. And I got to tell you that the Border Patrol should have bigger balls. They should have just shot the National Guard and went in and saved the kids. I wonder when somebody's going to take, uh, uh, what's your governor's name again? Uh, Abbott. Abbott's yeah, but, uh, wheelchair and take it out into traffic. Yeah. He, yeah, they should push him into traffic. No, that's not I didn't that's put it that way, okay? Charlie's wheelchair. I wish they'd get Trump I mean, out. I, I would like to roll him across traffic, you know, and then accidentally trip. 
Put a MAGA hat on him. No, but I mean, <laughs> others against Greg, Greg but, Abbott. You, but, you know? know, who are these people? You know, I mean, I was talking I to Marjorie know. tonight. Do you know the main people that put Trump over the top in Iowa were evangelicals? Of course. Yeah. And the, yeah. when he interviewed, some of them said, God put Trump on this earth to do what the good work that he's going to that he's do that he wants to do. And I'm thinking, this what is a guy who want? raped a woman, was convicted of yeah. raping a woman, yeah. told he told people that he, you know he liked grabbing women by their pussies. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. the evangelicals find him even slightly acceptable. Alex, the only time when is the last time you've seen the inside of a church that guy? Well, yeah, you know, what kind of religious hypocrites are these am evangelicals? Somebody said the other day that when Donald Trump puts his hand on a Bible, the uh, the angels start to bleed. Yeah, yeah. Either that or the Bible catches on fire. But yeah, yeah. Like I don't that. get the cult of personality of it. Well, I don't either. I, I, I It makes no sense to me. hasn't from the very beginning. Uh, but, I mean, if you look at him and you say, okay, I'm a good Christian— what are good Christian values? And the good Christian values that they and they they go for are not the kind of Christian values that Donald Trump has. That's for sure. And it's sad. Yep. Yep. Really sad. I think God, I, everybody ought to convert to Judaism. No, no. Well, yeah, why not? No, I don't want those people. You don't want them. What about me? Would you take me? Yeah. Well, I take you. I don't go to church anyway. Well, <laughs> so I'm no, I mean, well we, we don't either, but that's because we're Jewish. That's <laughs> we right. don't have to. I used to go to the church. I, I don't know why, that. you know, there's all this anti Semitism <laughs> running rampant. I don't know why there aren't more Jews, okay? Because we got, I, we've got a great hook for getting people. Number yeah. one, in the Jewish religion, there's no hell. Okay. That's a bonus right off the bat. That's a about the bonus right, right, right off the bat. Right. I lied to my mother. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to hell. And in, in be afraid you know, so, so that's for starters, you know. Uh, and <laughs> I love that ad with Ronald Reagan Jr. Have you seen that thing for uh, uh, atheism? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And at yeah, the yeah, end yeah. of the ad, oh, he really? says, I'm Ronald, Ronald, Ronald Reagan Jr. I'm an atheist, and I'm not afraid of going to hell. <laughs> you know. Good. Why don't you start now? Yeah. Nothing to worry about. But, you know, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, become a Jew. Yeah, we have no hell. Great. That's right. a great selling point. And right? we're the chosen ones, too. Well, we, chosen we, for what, I don't well, we're, know. No, we're considered the chosen ones by, I think, only one religion, and that's the Mormons, who, who consider, <laughs> yes, who consider the Jews the chosen. The quickest way to get rid of them at your door is tell them you're Jewish or gay. They'll be gone in either in either case. Well, yeah, I, I used to say, you know, you know my friend uh, Chuck Farnham, who I have on the show, like I did tonight. Uh, Chuck, when they'd come to the door, would just open it up naked. <laughs> <laughs> May I help you? And when they would scream and say, "What are you doing?" He said, "He'd say, hey, you knocked on my door, you know.' That's I, great. I, I simply opened it, you know. That's great. Yeah, yeah. He was good at that kind of stuff." He did anything he could to totally piss people off. Um, but uh, anyway. I know the feeling. Well, this is certainly discouraging, you yeah. know. I mean, Thursday nights are usually slow for you. I don't know, you know. Well, know. last week it was pretty. It was not slow at all. Oh. You know. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I have no idea, and I don't. You know, at this point, I'm, I'm, I I've ceased to care. All right. Oh, I watched the show afterwards because I was out to dinner Thursday night. Yeah, I made it to, I made it to Amy's show, but I missed the uh, this show. Yeah, yeah. Well, Thursday. you know. Yeah. yeah, there were a lot of people last Thursday. But more people don't call, and Amy will be the only show on this network that's you know three days a week. I gotta <laughs> tell you, you know. Yeah. Uh, and 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 that's enough, you know. Yeah. Uh, but. Um, so I mean I you know um, I I I just I just America this is not the America I signed up for. How about you, Charlie? It's not your America, is it? No, it's you know. getting worse and worse. 
I mean, the fact that Trump, after all he's gone through, has any chance of even being president or even being able to run for president is amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing. I can't get over it. Can you imagine, like, he let, he pretty much let a riot on January 6th, and they're letting him, it sounds like we're being big bulls. It's like he should not be allowed to do this. Well, you're breaking I'm, up again. I'm breaking up again. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. See, I've got four people here, thank God, with me. Uh, thank God. But one of them is breaking up constantly. So, you know, it's... it's. Yeah, that's what you sound like, Tony. You know what you, you know what you should do is if uh, on your... Do you have your... Like your do you have your router from your cable company in your in that room? It's upstairs in the in the living room. I have oh, to go upstairs. I was going to say if you if you if, if you uh, why is that up there? Reset it. Uh, well, because no, I'm in the uh, basement. No, and my brother, me living in the first floor. It isn't resetting it. It's a question of uh, if you had it in the same room down there, you could just what I say, hook it up, not Wi-Fi, but just with a cable. You know, with the uh, yeah. what do you call it? Ethernet. Oh, Ethernet. direct connect. Yeah. Yeah. If you do a direct connect, yeah, you, you, you wouldn't be having internet. this problem. You know. Oh, I could do that now. I'd have to unplug my other computer. Oh, uh, really? Oh, let me do that. I can do that. Yeah, probably the other computer if it's upstairs. Or you can get a splitter and you can play both of them at the same time. Oh. Yeah, but this that way it doesn't have a direct connect. Um, oh, oh. Wow, Jesus Christ! My I've service never heard doesn't have laptop. For it. What? It didn't have Ethernet. Oh, uh, uh, and there, isn't, there isn't a laptop made that doesn't have Ethernet. Right. Unless it was made 20 years ago. Or oh, shit, my life stinks. And if it was made my... 20 years ago, it wouldn't be doing Zoom very well. No, this is like, I got it for my 50th birthday, so it's like four years old. No, it has an oh, Ethernet. Oh, it's got Ethernet. If it's got, yeah, if it's got eight, Wi-Fi, eight, it has eight, Ethernet. But, uh, what's he doing? Is, is he assembling and disassembling it? I'm trying to see what hey, he's is. gonna get in the washer behind him and turn it on. What I'm doing, really? Well, I agree with that. Tony, yeah, because you don't know. I got clothes doing. in the dryer. I got to take them out later. My blankets. <laughs> I just did blankets today, so I can. Where I got is? My wait a minute, where is the laundry? Oh, right here. I'm gonna start folding. Right in the room where you sleep, you've got it. Oh, no, this is in the basement by my comics. Oh, my superhero socks fell out. See. Uh, your what? I got Captain America socks. Oh no! Oh yeah, oh, I do. Spider Man. Wait a minute. Hulk. Were those blankets I saw there? Yeah. What kind of blankets are those? Actually, my my mother worked at A and S. She bought someone stuff like fifty percent off. So when we threw it, when we got uh, that's uglier than the wallpaper. It's <laughs> nice. It keeps me warm though. It's nice. They're like old blankets. These are like twenty years old, but they're still like they're big. Yeah, I, I walk around the house like King Tut with these things. <laughs> my sister came over. She said, "What do you want? I'm watching TV. I'm interrupting my movie. I go to the door. The big black." May I say, on a certain <laughs> level, no uh, wonder Tony, the Mormons don't stop may, by may, his may, house. Don't stop here. May I say, Tony, on a very and don't take this wrong, but you no, live sir. you live a rather pathetic life. <laughs> say so very Monday. <laughs> yeah. I, I sit up till three in the morning yesterday watching some old movies. Then I just fall asleep. My sister ran the door. She said, "You don't get the door." I said, I heard it, but I wanted to watch the end. She's uh, so well, I called yeah, I don't back. go. I don't go out. What did Shecky see in him? Shecky was a kind person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. But every now and then he had to tell uh, Tony to fuck off. Yeah, he's telling you got to go home now. That's enough. <laughs> you got to go home now, or don't oh, call me. Don't story. call one... me. Don't write me. I think you got a few of those. Yeah. No, one time my mother called when I was there, and he says, "Put." Her on speakers, maybe she wants something. So I joked, I said, I forgot to give her the medicine. He says, No, that's not I did. I see, so I put her on speaker. She says, Shecky, when he gets too much, tell him to go home. <laughs> then she goes, Can you buy me a roll when you get out of the, off the bus stop? Because by the bus where it stops is a bakery, so I had to get her a roll and stuff. Okay, I'm getting so orders. You can get your mother a roll to eat, but you forget her medication. Yeah, I was joking with him. He's like, He got, he, I made him laugh, so it's like, No, nah, I gave it to her. I had a pills on the pillbox. They yeah. said, "If I leave, I would give it to her. Gee, give her been, an extra one. Take one for the road, man." He's been gone how long? He went in March, right? It'll be a year, Alex, in March. Really? Has it been that long? Yeah. yeah. 
He wasn't usually on the night show, but he was. I I, I watched him on the Monday show. He never did the night show. Night show. No, never. No, no. that's probably because I was on. But no, he. You know, I. I he he I, liked the group. He liked the group uh, in the afternoon show on Monday a lot. I like yeah. it too. It's one I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to get in because yeah. of me. But also, it's too early for me to get up. So they're a nice bunch of people. They are. You know. It's a uh, real change. It's more, it's more relaxing. Yeah. And we don't want to ruin that by having you call. I know. Well, it's okay. <laughs> I'm fucking early. Well, I'm really no, but that but show. But I listen to it almost every week. Yeah, that show is, uh, is, is I'm, I'm, I, I love that show. I love Mandy, and I love that she wants to punch Phil Meyer in the face. <laughs> she and and, to and, to and I time. love Andrew Deutsch. He's funny. Yeah. He is so funny. Yeah. But it's a really good show. It's a really good show. So, you know, in case people don't know what we're talking about, it's on Monday at 4 o'clock, and it's on uh, Facebook. It goes out on Facebook. And then I put it up on uh, YouTube as well so that you can watch it. One, 1 o'clock here in the West Coast. So, yeah. But that, that's barely, I'm barely climbing out of bed at that hour. It's something that people are <laughs> not used to, up, are not used to on on. Uh, no, on YouTube, and that's a t you know. just an absolutely one hundred percent. Can I say something? One hundred percent, one hundred percent nice show. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You I, want an answer to your question, Tony? What time do I get up? I told you what time you can text. Yeah. Two o'clock on. But yet, my time. Yet, yeah. I did a little yet, early today. You know, and you know, Tony. You know, Tony. Uh, you know, you know what time mm. I get up. I told you when you can't text me anytime. <laughs> I know exactly. I, yeah. so I learned, I learned Don't bother friend. him. A friend of mine showed me a way of not I'm blocking pissed. him, but blocking when he texts you or calls you, it doesn't make I'm any good. noise on the phone. Gee, there's nobody so watching. Go ahead and continue nobody... to text me at nine in the morning. <laughs> I don't care because it doesn't do a thing to me. I looked at how many people are watching tonight. Low okay. number. Really low number. Wow. Um, what is it? Is there something going miss on? People Bill Meyer. We're going to get snow, I know, this weekend, Alex. Oh, yeah, we're getting snow this morning. Oh, this morning? Yeah. yeah. I heard five inches now, maybe. Maybe as my brother was telling me. Yeah. I got my salt ready and everything, so. Yeah. yeah. I heard that it was so cold in New York that the gangbangers oh, were their pants up. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. It was bad. I've never, you know, I, I, and I don't, I don't want to, I don't think I'm being racist about this, but these gangbangers who wear the pants down to, they, they're like below their ass, right? Yes. I don't. And they that. keep you those things up, and I can't figure out how they do it. I asked, I asked somebody one time, and uh, he said I got a big dick, and I said no, that's no, no, no. I was no. do it. No. Yeah, that's what I said. It's, 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 if it was hanging it's down, it. if your pants were down in the front, but I mean, but I mean that's I, not... but they're walking down the street, and I'm saying these things aren't falling off of them. I mean, do they have some yeah. secret, yeah, be... maybe some secret suspenders in there or something maybe. that we don't know? They must have <laughs> well, those pants no are made, suspenders. Wait a minute. They I'm not that not, not that shirt. you're the expert, Charlie, but those pants are aren't made for that, are they? Or are they made to be worn like? No, I have no idea. I, uh, I I don't understand it. Why would you want it? I don't understand how they don't trip. You, you they, uh, the, yeah. the crotch of the pants are down by their knees. Right, and and, you... and and if they do a crime and they try and run away, I mean, what are you going to do? You got to pull your pants. Well, back. I got one other question for you. I mean, uh, isn't that so? Yesterday. Yes. You know, <laughs> it's been going on for twenty years now. Yeah. It's well, taken my wallet. I give my. Yeah, I mean, I don't see that many anymore, you know. But when I do, I go. I'm. I'm in wonder of that, you know. Just amazing. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so uh, a lot of things that gangbangers do on the streets that you see, they throw the towel over their shoulder or around their neck or let their pants hang down, come from prison life. They're they're trying to mimic that they're that they've been in prison, and what and, and what is the the what is the attraction of that? I have nothing. Hey, I want to look like I was in prison. I think I'll put a tear here, 
you know, yeah. and I'll uh, I'll wear my pants drop, low. One, one teardrop per year. Is that what they do? Really? Yeah. This is why I don't leave the house anymore. <laughs> well, yeah. well, well, I think your something. neighbors are lucky. <laughs> well, too, I'd like to. I'd like to leave the I'm house. Joking. I'd like to leave the house, but unfortunately, I just don't. And one of the reasons is what we just were talking about a few moments ago. Every time I think, hey, you know, tomorrow I'll go out and take a walk. Oh, it's going to be 22 degrees and yeah. snowing, huh? Kidding. You listen, like if it were sunny and 22 degrees, I still wouldn't go out there, you know? So I have no reason to leave anywhere. And then I was thinking today, gee, if Marjorie and I just lived in California right now and I could teach myself to drive a car again... We don't have to stay home, it, you know? It, it's just not a place, right? Am I right? You just don't stay right. home in California. My mother's 90 and she still drives. Wow. You know, and if you don't like the way she drives, stay off of the sidewalk. Get get off the road. <laughs> you know? Get she, off the she's sidewalk. She's pretty good about not going on sidewalks, but she runs her tires into the curbs a lot. So D Does she? Still 90. I got those little curb feelers that make noise from... When we were kids, I found some, put them on her car. She wiped those things out two days later. They were ripped <laughs> off the car. I'm like, I don't care. It's your car, your rims, your tires. I used to get so stoned, I started wearing cufflinks with curb feelers on them. <laughs> it's an old Dean Martin line about drinking. Oh, really? Anyway, I never heard yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. Well, Char I Charlie like remembers. Was funny. Yeah. Uh, did you that. would you like the Rat Pack, uh, Charlie? Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, uh, let me see here. Got a, we got about five minutes left, a little more. Uh, anything anybody want to bring up that was in the news? Nothing. No. no. I'm trying to think. You know, I watch the news a little bit, and then I don't watch it. And uh, uh, then I come on here, and I can't remember anything that was in the news today. You know, the E. Jean Carroll case. Did it wrap up today? I don't know. Um, I don't know and, either. And that's I don't know either, yeah. I watch the news about twice a week, 30 minutes a time. That's enough. And, and Trump, what's wonderful about Trump is he has no originality about himself because he goes out and he completely eviscerates the judge in the case. Haven't you done that act to... before? Can't you think of yeah. something new to do? Yeah. Go after the judge's dog or something. I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then Tony will take a uh, biscuit eater over there and tear up the tear up the, the, the idiot. Biscuit oh, yeah. eater? <laughs> what, what, who's, what biscuit eater? What's your eater? dog's name? The dog that you're walking, Tony? I'm do our dog walking Kansas. He's such Kansas. a cute Kansas. Kansas yeah. It's a cute he dog. He did such a dump today in the street. I had to pick it up, but some of it I couldn't get. What do you mean you couldn't get it? You're supposed to. It was all liquidy. I was scraping it up. It was on the side. Oh, my God. Oh, I got most of it, though. 90% Liquidy. Boy, that's a, a visual. I know that may be difficult. I told him don't go anymore because he eating everything off the wall like a vacuum. It's not difficult. Use a straw. Anyway, <laughs> I know I felt bad. I just kept going. He keeps going. I'm used to female dogs. He just keeps plopping. I gotta tell you something I quick. Saw. I gotta tell you something quick. Anybody here seen this show, uh, the uh, the bear? No, that's okay. the one with the diner. Yeah. So oh, I didn't see it. Yet. It yeah, isn't yeah. a diner. It's a, a oh, okay. restaurant. But anyway. Um, Marjorie and I watched one episode once and we couldn't get into it. But, you know, sometimes the first episode of a series doesn't really grab you. It needs time to kind of bake a little bit, okay? And so we never went back to it. And Marjorie said, well, I'm never going to watch that again. If you're going to watch I said, I might try it again. She says, you do it on your own. I'm not going to do it. And, and I kept telling her, you know, everybody says it's such a good show. And I think maybe we should maybe give it a chance. We might... You know, so we watched a couple episodes. Well, now we're on the second season in the fourth episode. Oh, so it's good okay. then. Right, I'm going to check it out. Yeah, it's really, uh, it, it, I think it's a good show. She doesn't want to oh. admit it is yet. Oh, but she, she says, it, so okay, are you going to watch right. another of the bear? Okay, you know. And it's funny because we were had a theme going this week. We were watching the bear and Ted. Oh, I watched Ted. Did you see? I loved. I was laughing so much for yeah, Ted. But, I like. But, but it's the bear and Ted, 
We're yeah, in Ted a rut. Me laugh. She and I are in a rut like about what we watch. <laughs> you know, if it doesn't have. You hear what he said? About the gateway drug. Should I go right to heroin instead of pot? <laughs> <laughs> Ted goes, yeah. The funny line in the thing was uh, uh, they were say it was a, a, a professor or something that was very smart, and he was like quoting famous authors and what they had said. And finally, Ted says, "Well, as Hemingway once said, this gun doesn't taste good." <laughs> <laughs> I love I love Senator Fong. I think he's funny. <laughs> it's really very. It's a, it's funny. I'll I send like you it. Some- Tony, I'll send you some dog wipes so you can clean up after yourself. I mean, after the dog. Oh, he's a good boy. He, yeah, but not, not, he's attached to me. Well, what are they, they feeding him that he's got the trots? Yeah. Well, I, I got a little goodie bag. They said, Alex, he's so attached to me now, the dog. The Irish couple says, when they say, where's Anthony? He jumps off the couch and runs to the door, and they'll sit there and wait for me. They're really? going to Dublin again, so I got him for a whole week at the end of the month. You have to keep him in your house? Well, I, I mean, he's good with the dog, so I may keep him upstairs. See, they won't fight. Wait a minute, upstairs? Don't you have people that live up there? That's what I thought. No, they might have me. So, so I may, I may have him. Uh, oh, well, in teach the front him how to take a dump on your. Wait a minute, I, I, I've got this all mixed up. I thought you rented the upper part of the house to the. Oh, to I the... did. They're so they're so nice too. So they do... brought down cupcakes for me the other day. So were they up there or not? Yeah. No, I mean, if I take them in, I can either leave them in the basement because I can have a big space open in the front. So I'll probably bring them down here mm-hmm. so that he won't be up with my And team. then he'll probably get the trots there. So. Yeah, because then I can just go out. Because so, I have the, the front of the basement is all empty. So I have a bed. I have a dog bed and everything. So he can stay down here. So uh-huh. he'll be quiet. He's attached to me to the dog. I said he won't. When he when I leave, I feel bad because he sits by the fence staring at me. How naive you go, I said. Are. Like, you can't take your home. How naive dogs are. They're, they they're very they're taking they're very set their satisfaction is easily guaranteed absolutely oh gee yeah. our numbers went up a little bit because <laughs> we were talking about dog trots I'm gonna, a poop on a, I'm gonna make a poop on a Trump picture tomorrow put it on the ground <laughs> well that, but that is throw a little that, orange uh, food oh oh, oh that'll lose him the election <laughs> I can't I hope he does I'm hoping he dies before the election no you stop do. that. I want Alex. How I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get nasty messages opinion. from YouTube. I know, but just imagine if you yeah. found out. We found out he passed away in his sleep. I think people would actually be happy. Well, some people would be. Other people would go. Go and vote for him. Well, he was doing God's work. Yeah, but God got him. You know, God I mean, got him. Take him now. <laughs> you know, Goodbye. No, we don't wish ill <laughs> on anybody. I don't, but I wouldn't mind it though, Alex. I'm being honest. I know, I know you wouldn't, <laughs> but you don't have to continue with this when I'm trying to save the show Ma, for being demonetized. I know. If there's a hell, Alex, he's going here. You know uh, it. Yeah. Well, there, that's all you can say that. Okay. He's going to okay. be buried right next to your mother. God oh, forbid. He killed my mother. <laughs> she hated him. She hated him. She huh? hated that guy. I had to turn the TV when he was on. Well, anybody who lives in New York, to call. anybody who lives in New York hates him. Because we had to put up with him for so many years. Yeah, he's, he's, you know. that guy. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, there's a theme. You can't hear it, but to hell with you if you can't hear it. Uh, uh, that's that's it. I, uh, I uh, thank you so much for sticking. Well, what did I do here? For sticking with me. I really appreciate it. And, and calling tonight. And all the other people who didn't call who might be listening right now, go fuck yourself. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, Charlie. I really appreciate your your diligence tonight. You're, you were there before I even went on with the regular part of the show. Uh, thank you also, uh, uh, Alan, for being here. And I'm sure I'm sure Tony didn't call just because he felt like he called tonight. He probably heard me say nobody was calling, right? Yeah, I heard you. I was on the couch. I was just getting ready to get off to come downstairs. Oh, okay. So I was listening to you. Th- okay, the well, I just thought you were so doing something know. nice. Okay. Anyway. I watched the Knicks and I was listening to you. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> everybody, give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. There they go. That's our citizen panel, folks, for tonight. There'll be another citizen panel with uh, Amy Manuel on the intersection, which follows next over most of the same station. She'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I will see you back here again tomorrow. It's uh, Friday, and it's a Friday edition of the show. We'll probably have a ton of people calling. Uh, And uh, 
just wish you a good night, everybody. And uh, as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>